In English, advanced modals for deduction and speculation are used to express degrees of certainty or uncertainty about a present or past situation. These modals include must, might, could, and can't. Here's a detailed explanation with examples. 1. Must, for strong deduction. Usage, must, is used when the speaker is very confident about a deduction or conclusion. 1. Example, the keys are in the car. 1. They must have fallen out of my pocket when I got in. 2. Might, could, for weak deduction or possibility. Usage, might, and could, are used when the speaker is less certain, indicating a possibility or likelihood. Example, he's not answering his phone. He might be in a meeting. Example, it's still early, so the package could arrive later today. 3. Can't, for strong deduction of impossibility. Usage, can't, is used when the speaker is very confident about the impossibility of a deduction. 1. Example, she's not at home, she can't have forgotten about our meeting. 4. Present speculation. 4.1 must be. Usage, used for a strong deduction about a present situation. 1. Example, the phone is ringing. 1. It must be Tom calling. 4.2 might be, could be. Usage, used for a weaker deduction or speculation about a present situation. 1. Example, the noise from the kitchen could be the cat knocking something over. 5. Past speculation. 5.1 must have been. Usage, used for a strong deduction about a past situation. 1. Example, he's soaked. 1. It must have been raining. 5.2 might have been, could have been. Usage, used for a weaker deduction or speculation about a past situation. 1. Example, she didn't come to the party. 1. She might have been feeling unwell. 6. Examples in context. 6.1 Present deduction. 1. Context, observing a friend's behavior. 2. Sentence, she's been acting secretive lately, she must be planning a surprise. 6.2 Present speculation. 1. Context, hearing a noise in the next room. 2. Sentence, the laughter might be the kids playing a game. 6.3 Past deduction. 1. Context, analyzing a situation after the fact. 2. Sentence, the car was in the driveway all night, they must have been home. 6.4 Past speculation. 1. Context, discussing a friend's absence. 2. Sentence, she didn't reply to messages, she might have been traveling. 7. Tips for using modals of deduction. 7.1 Pay attention to context. 1. Consider the context of the situation to determine the appropriate level of certainty. 7.2 Use modals for nuance. 1. Choose the modal that best conveys the level of deduction or speculation you want to express. 7.3 Consider Tone 1. Modals can convey not just the degree of certainty but also the speaker's attitude. 1. Pay attention to the tone of the conversation. Conclusion Advanced modals for deduction and speculation are valuable tools for expressing varying degrees of certainty or uncertainty in both spoken and written English. By mastering these modals, you can articulate nuanced perspectives on present and past situations, providing depth to your communication.